Hi everyone, Angie here from Ello Baby Crochet and I wanted to show you a finished Ihana convertible cowl. I made this one right here. I wish my tripod was a little better. I could show you the full thing in one in one shot, but I'll move the tripod around in a minute so that hopefully it's not too shaky. Let me go ahead and undo the buttons here. I made this one with Lion Brand Cupcake Yarn in a Sunny Day. Now, Cupcake is a discontinued line of yarn from Lion Brand. They are no longer manufacturing it, so it is not available in retail locations. You can find it through some of the buy-sell groups on Facebook, um, Ravelry, and probably on Etsy, eBay, places like that. You know, the yarn black market, so to speak. But this color is called Sunny Day. It has these beautiful shades of like burnt oranges, oranges, some lighter colors going into yellows, and then into some white and neutral khaki type tones. Absolutely gorgeous yarn. This is a thinner three weight, um, also known as a DK weight, but honestly it's getting kind of closer to the sport weight in my opinion and I made this with a five millimeter H hook again my trusty furls crochet hooks and I used these wooden buttons they're one and a quarter inch buttons that I sewed onto the end okay so here is a completed cowl and the reason for this video is to show you the different ways that it can be worn so here is what I did because it is a three weight I added some extra little rows of row ones on here I came back at the end right here where this itty bitty little bit of gapping is here let me get a little closer that little bit of gapping that was my starting chain my row one row two row three row four and then here is my repeat of row five now to count row five when you are making it i mentioned in the video for row five that you can count the ridges so here's one repeat two repeat three repeat four repeat five repeat six repeat okay so there are six row fives here then you get into the shell scallop with the posts and then you go back into the repeat of row five then that fillet detail and the fillet detail here the gapping right here on these scallop shell rows and this fillet detail right here that creates buttonholes for you to use it okay so this pattern is worked flat like so there is no wrong or right side until you sew the buttons on so you can sew the buttons on either side and then at the end you just do repeats of single crochets right there in order to give you enough space to sew your buttons on okay now when you go to sew your buttons on what's really important is to set this as a triangle scarf so that you can see exactly where to space your buttons you can do three buttons you can do four buttons you can do six buttons depending on how big your buttons are and whether or not they'll fit through your gaps without falling out so to put this as a triangle scarf let me show you how to do this real quick and then i'll move the camera It'll get a little shaky. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my buttons here. I'm gonna line it up on my rows right here. And then I'm not gonna go into this first gap. I'm gonna go into the second one. And I'm gonna slide the button into that hole. Just kind of stretch the yarn out a little bit. Now on this row where the scallops is, I'm gonna go into that gap. At the top of the scallop, I'm gonna slide my button in. And then right here, you see that right there? I'm gonna slide my button in right there. And what this does is it puts the buttons on the side and then you can wear this. Let me pick up the tripod. This is my dining room table, so uh -huh. there's stuff on it. You can wear it like so as a triangle scarf. See right like that. 
Now, if you take and button it the way I had it originally, let me fix the camera here. I'm gonna take it off the button holes when I have it through now. Now this is where I said you can do usually three buttons for this one works really well because if you try to get a button in here unless they're very small buttons you're not going to do that you know you don't have any button holes here and the reason why i added because this is a thinner yarn i added that is if i hadn't added that when i put the button here it wouldn't come flush right there and i wanted that flush so do this as a flat scarf I'm gonna fold it like this and this is gonna make a traditional cowl I'm gonna go in to the third hole I think I had it in the third hole yep so that that comes even across and come up to the top one two I come a little closer one two three I'm gonna slide my button in there and these you normally don't have to block patterns like this well, you can if it's personal preference and then just because of my OCD and I am diagnosed OCD you're gonna come into the middle hole or closest to the middle you're gonna put your button through there and just kind of flatten that out like so and i'm gonna go ahead and move the camera again so that you can see it from the top and that is how you button it for a flat scarf if you plan to only wear it as a traditional cowl you can do as many buttons and however big sizes you want you want to do it as a triangle cowl as well then you kind of need to space your buttons with the fillet and the scallop rows and there you go that is a completed cowl for the ihana convertible cowl pattern i hope you enjoy it i'm sure it looks beautiful on you but feel free to drop a picture in the comments if you can or send me one of your completed project i'd love to see it all right happy hooking guys